Hello viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Enter Climate. My name is Shalin Verma and this will be an important video for those in the tire manufacturing and tire waste recycling sector. So if you ask someone involved in this manufacturing, importing, recycling of tires or the import of vehicles with pre-fitted new tires, watch this video till the end. So let's start the video. For managing waste tires in the country, the government introduced the hazardous and other waste management and transboundary movement rules 2016. After many subsequent amendments, the MOEF notified the hazardous and other waste amendment rules of 2022, which made the extended producer responsibility or EPR a must for producers. The amendment also made registration on the CPCB's centralized EPR portal mandatory for producers, recyclers and retraders. The 2022 amendment made provisions for the utilization and management of waste tires through EPR. The CPCB portal for waste tire management has been developed and act as a centralized online portal for the registration of entities, submission of quarterly returns and trading of EPR certificates. All the entities covered under the 2022 amendment rules that is, the producers, recyclers and retailers must register themselves to continue their operations in India. The present EPR portal is only limited to online submission of information related to the quantities of tires introduced by them in the market and the generation of their EPR obligations. The guidelines with respect to trading of EPR certificates will be soon made available on the portal. So let's understand the obligations of the producers under the rules to determine their EPR responsibilities. First, let's understand who a producer is. As defined in paragraph 1E of the 2022 rules, EPR will apply to producers that is the manufacturers, importers and brand owners who manufacture and sell new tires domestically or sell tires domestically under their own brand name after procuring a new tire manufactured by other manufacturers or suppliers or sell imported new tires import vehicles fitted with new tires, those automobile manufacturers who import new tires for the use in new vehicles sold domestically and lastly, those who import waste tires. Now, importing or reusing waste tires in the form of rubber or carbon black is permitted. However, importing waste tires to produce pyrolysis oil or char is prohibited. So, in this context, we must understand what constitutes recycling. As defined in paragraph 1F of the 2022 rules, recycling is converting the waste tire into an end product in an environmentally sound manner and possessing the facilities as elaborated in the SOPs released by the CPCP. The recycler has to be involved in the processing of waste tires to reclaim the rubber and rubber crumb, crumb rubber modified bitumen, recover carbon black or produce pyrolysis oil or char from waste tires. Now, another tire related business that was identified in the rules were the retreading. So, retreading which means replacing a tire's worn tread with new tread has been allowed. But the retreaders will first have to get registered on the CPCB portal to issue retreading certificates. On production of this certificate, the EPR obligations for the retreaders will be deferred for one year until 2023 provided that the obligation is extinguished after the end of life disposal through a registered recycler. Now let's understand the EPR targets which are made mandatory for the above entities. For producers, producers will now be responsible for recycling the waste tires equivalent to the weight of new tires that they had manufactured or imported in the previous year. So, for the importers of waste tires, the EPR obligations will amount to 100% of the waste tires they imported in the previous year. Both these entities will have to submit their data as per the directions as shown in the table. Finally, let's understand the role of recyclers in fulfilling the EPR obligations. As per the provision of paragraph 7 of the Schedule 9, all entities identified as producers are required to fulfill their EPR obligations through the online purchase of EPR credits or through retreading credits through registered recyclers and retreaders of waste tire. The EPR obligations for the producers of new tires has been fixed as shown in the table. 
Now, the entities that are covered under the Hazardous Waste Management Amendment Rules of 2022 will be liable for prosecution under Section 15 of the Environment Protection Act if any incorrect information is provided to obtain EPR certificates or generate EPR certificates above 5% of the actual waste tire recycled. Moreover, failing to cooperate in the verification and audit procedures will lead to prosecution under the Environmental Protection Act. So, if your business falls in any of the definitions of an entity, you must realize how important it is to register timely on the CPCB portal. Contact today to make the registration process and generate your EPR targets so that you can take the advantage of the window to cover your targets and not become liable for penalties for failing to register. So this was all for today's video. Remember to like and subscribe our channel. You can also visit our website www.enterclimate.com for more information and contact our experts from the details shown. Thank you for watching.